So recently my YouTube account was compromised and all my videos were deleted. The one question that I got most often was what happened, how did it happen and how are you able to get it back from YouTube. In this video I'm going to break it down what actually happened on my channel, how my YouTube account got hacked and all my videos were deleted and how I was able to recover it with the assistance of YouTube and this is coming up. Hi everybody, Innocent here and welcome to the channel. Over here we make videos on Photoshop, tech and filmmaking. If that is something that sounds like you're interested, kindly consider subscribing. Alright, so let's start from the very basics. On the 4th of April, I received an anonymous call and which later I realized that he was a subscriber and a fellow content creator. And this person asked me that Innocent, are you the one streaming some Bitcoin content on your channel? so i got very scared and i was like let me go on my channel and check what exactly is happening over there but i wasn't that scared because previously a fellow content creator had pranked us on hacking our account so i thought this was maybe one of these pranks so fortunately also for me i was at home and i had light i had internet so i quickly jumped onto my youtube channel only to realize that my account name has been changed my my dp or profile picture has been changed everything the description everything about my channel has been changed and this person is using my account to stream a bitcoin content which is against youtube's policy so i quickly logged into my email to check if my account has been hacked fully I realized that I, I still have access to my Gmail account. Everything was intact. I was not missing that my my phone or my recovery email has been changed, which means that I still had access to my account. Only that the person had intruded onto my account. So what I did was I tried to stop the streaming, but I couldn't stop it. So I quickly went to Twitter to Twitter YouTube that somebody is using my account to stream a bitcoin content which is against youtube's policy youtube helped me to figure that out unfortunately for me i didn't receive any feedback from youtube and for about 10 minutes this person was still using the account to stream the content so after a while i realized that what i can do at this point is that i will wait for them to stream and my account will be flagged for sharing the content that is against youtube policy they will terminate my account and then i'm going to file a report but fortunately for me after 15 minutes i tried again and i was able to log the person out stop the streaming and then things were kind of back to normal so i changed my name back to innocent kwatin my profile or the dp back to the image that i've been using and then i changed my passwords at this point i thought that everything was normal youtube reached out to me via dm and sent me a link to file a report against my compromised account or my hijacked account so i followed the link and then i sent a report to youtube now i was literally behind up my computer the rest of the day to figure out that if the person would try hacking or if the person would try attacking me again but fortunately nothing of that sort happened later in the day youtube reached out in my email and then they acknowledged the receipt of the reports that i made and they said that they are going to look into my accounts for me now my passwords are reset everything is reset i removed all third party access apps from my email and then literally everything was back to normal so i was just okay and then i went to bed 5th april early in the morning on 5th april i received another call from this same subscriber now this was because this person had my channel on notification so anytime i post a video the person is able to receive it right away so at this time he also called me telling me i think your youtube has been compromised again so check it so i quickly jumped onto youtube again only to realize this time that the account has been changed the name of the account has been changed the dp has been changed and this was different from the previous one that was happening so that means that either the same person by using but the content was basically the same but the dp and everything has been changed so i just follow the same procedures that i did back the full the previous day and then i stopped the streaming reset my passwords and everything seems to be back to 
normal now at this point youtube had responded to my email the, the report that i filed that after going through my channel they realized that the channel was not compromised everything seems okay and normal with my channel this is a channel that was previously intruded all passwords reset and everything changed and the person still had access to my account so i was kind of very confused and frustrated so i responded that my channel is still under attack and the person has still come back to change my dp my name and everything on my channel so after i was able to stop the streaming i reset my passwords few hours later i logged back into my youtube account only to realize that all my videos have been deleted i'm talking about videos from five years ago 2017 every single video on my youtube has been deleted and at this point the person had started uploading some how to download a 2022 photoshop how to download a few more like these malware kind of videos and this was when i realized that the attack wasn't coming from youtube it was coming from my laptop so at this point i was confused i was frustrated i didn't know what to do i thought maybe it was a glitch but something was happening but then it was it was real and my youtube videos were gone for good my channel was finally under attack the only reason that kept me like motivated was that i still had access to my youtube my gmail account it hasn't been changed i still have access but this person was literally attacking me from my computer so i went to twitter and i twitter youtube about the removal of my videos and the uploading of content on my channel now knowing that this attack was coming straight from my own pc and not anywhere i then had to sit back and realize what was happening and that was when i realized that it was this particular software that i downloaded previously onto my laptop so a morning before the 4th of april when the attack actually started i wanted to get the new latest version of filmora 11 and then install it onto my computer because i've been using i've been using filmora for a while and i wanted to upgrade but i wanted a free version so i searched on youtube and i found one particular video that actually talks about uh, this filmora it gives a link in the description you follow the link and then you go and download the software when i went to the site there are there were so many red flags but because i was keen in getting the software i didn't pay much attention i just went ahead to download this software now i realized that for most of these softwares when you download and you want to install it you'd have to turn off your windows defender so it basically would have access to or if it has any malware installed in it it can just deposit it onto your computer so i turned off my windows defender i installed this software and that was when the attacker had access to my account without even having to be able to know my password so this person was attacking me right from my computer so you realize that when i reset my password and then i log in back into gmail that the malware will basically just send a direct link to the person like a backdoor or something like that and this person will be able to access the account like i am accessing it without having to know my password so that was basically how my account was compromised so after knowing this after knowing that this was a malware attack and not anything like an actual somebody sitting somewhere to hack me i then had to clear my pc so i uninstalled the software from my pc so i made a new windows cleared all my hard drives and then everything was at least back to normal and then i logged in back to my gmail this time resetting my password turning every Thing that i'm supposed to turn the two-factor authentication which was previously on i turned everything back on and i waited for a few hours and this attack didn't happen again but all these whilst my videos were deleted so i had to now fight for how to bring my videos back so it's 6 april all my videos have been deleted all the information on my channel had been deleted and then i had sent a report to youtube about all of these things around 12 pm they sent an email that they are reviewing my account 10 hours later i, I received an email from youtube that after going through my account and re-reviewing it they found no abnormality on my channel come on youtube 
this is an account whose videos has been deleted whose names has been changed the profile pictures has been changed over the past 48 hours and then you are seeing that there are no signs of abnormality on my channel this can't be really possible so i send them an email back reminding them of all that has happened on my youtube channel about the streaming about the change of um, names the change of dp and all that and i went back to twitter to tweet on all that youtube has been basically telling me because at this time at this point i was so frustrated and then i basically had to tag youtube again and tweet them about their streaming and then their uploading on my channel which was abnormal and according to their specialist after reviewing there was nothing so abnormal on my channel so i went to the dm of youtube on twitter again and then i sent them an, a message and then they responded that i should still keep in touch with a contact support via da now it's 7th april on the dawn of 7th april i was basically on youtube all night trying to watch videos of people whose accounts were hacked just like this one and then i came across this video that was very helpful i don't know the name of i can't really pronounce the name well but i think it's megan rant and after watching megan's video i realized that youtube had a policy a data retention policy that talks about keeping your videos your deleted videos for 30 days even if you mistakenly delete it in this case i didn't mistakenly delete my videos somebody intruded into my channel and deleted it i was asking youtube to recover the videos and they were basically not responding to my complaints so i proceeded to google site to read further on the data retention policy and i realized for myself that every video that is deleted on youtube is kept for 30 days in youtube's database or google's database and then if you go back to ask for them they will basically ask you a few questions and then they are going to restore the video back for you so at this point the adventure of me trying to get them to review my hacked or hijack account basically turned into me asking youtube to just restore my deleted videos and after getting to know this information i was way optimistic and i realized that at least the videos have been deleted but they were still kept somewhere safe for me and i'm in a position to get them back so at 7 38 in the morning i received an email from youtube and they said that after multiple checks on my channel they are sorry but they have no better news for me if i have any other issues i should let them know youtube i have a lot of issues already you have stated a couple of issues and then you are not responding to them but then you are asking if i have any other issues i should let you know so i send them the more issues that i have and these issues contain that of the data retention policy that i just read on asking them a question on that and then whilst all this was happening since i'm using tubebuddy i could see from the home page of my youtube that i still have over 360 videos over there i still have the over two point something million views that i've gathered and then there are over four videos i've uploaded previously so i wanted to know if this was a glitch that something has really happened and my videos were hidden or something like that so i sent them an email 12 12 pm i received an email from youtube and then quite funny enough they didn't even talk about any of the issues that i raised remember that they asked me if i have any issues i should let them know so they didn't talk about the issues that i raised but instead they said that they only work on hijacked channels and since my channel wasn't hijacked they basically can't do anything about it now what surprises me the most is that the last time that i checked the definition of hijack it has something to do with seizing the possession or control of something somebody was able to gain access to my account had control and then deleted my videos how is this not defined as a hijack i don't get it so at this point i realized that i'm either chatting with a bot or some the email has already been composed over there they just click on it and then it will be sent to you or the person who was actually responding they didn't want to help so it's 8 april and at this point i decided not to respond to the emails that I, were coming to me because watching megan's video i realized that these were the same type of messages that were being sent to megan and i realized that maybe it is just a bot or something so i just decided to deal with youtube directly from the twitter dm so i was basically asking them to give me a way to restore my deleted videos i sent them a dm and unfortunately they said that i should still keep 
to the emails so 9th april i decided to give the email a try and this time around i wouldn't ask them to check or review my channel again i'll basically ask them if they are going to refer me to anybody that is going to help me get my deleted videos back and fortunately for me i was referred to an article now links to all that i'm talking about these articles the the link that youtube sent to me i'll leave them in the description if you want to check that in case you are in a situation like this so i follow the article to the page it's basically the youtube help center so i went there i was asked to provide my youtube urls i provided that and then i was able to chat with a live agent now mind you five minutes into this chat i realized that i'm talking to a real human as compared to the emails that i've been receiving so i was once convinced that i was basically chatting with a bot or the person wasn't really actually in the mood to help me however things turn around when this agent told me that a colleague was already working on my case and since a colleague is already doing that he can't assist me further instead i should keep responding to the emails now at this point youtube is tossing me between two agents the agent from the email is telling me that they can basically do nothing about all that is happening and that i should go to the help center to find more help this person at the help center is telling me that he can't also do anything about it because somebody is already working on it so i should just respond to the email so at this point i didn't know what to do so i had to go back to twitter and then vent my frustrations over there and also the youtube workers seemed confused that's 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 very true so i closed the chat and then i just decided to give myself a few minutes or hours and then i'll try back again and that reminded me of when my instagram account got disabled that i had a chat with the first agent who wasn't in the mood or who wasn't interested in helping me and then when i closed the chat and had a second chat with another agent this person was able to help me so a few hours later i input my url again and then i started another chat with another agent and this is when things began to turn around now this agent was very patient i was able to explain things to him that okay this time around don't focus on reviewing my channel based on hijack focus on reviewing my channel based on deleted video so i basically asked him to file another case for me that they should help me to restore my deleted videos and this agent was kind enough to do that so at 12 25 am i received one of the greatest news that i've received this year when this agent assured me that my account is being reviewed by the specialist and then I'm, i should rest assured that all my videos were going to be restored guys you could just imagine how i was feeling at that point so at this point i felt very happy i thank the agent who was very kind and then i was very optimistic that videos were going to be restored now he further stated that this is going to take a, like a bit of time so i should just give them time and at this point i just was so happy so it was very late in the morning like 12 50 something am and then i basically just went to sleep early in the morning out of joy i went to twitter and then i tweeted the updates of all that has happened between me and a second agent and i was very rest assured that it is going to be a good day it was a sunday a soul day a church day so i was literally very happy throughout the day waiting for something very positive to happen at the end of the day i went back to youtube refreshed and guess what there was nothing but i was still positive expecting something really nice to happen so i went to bed so it's monday 11th april that is exactly one week after the channel has been under attack and all these funny things has been happening so i woke up very early in the morning but i didn't want to go and check because i was kind of very nervous as to whether anything has happened it was a monday morning i'm mostly very motivated on monday morning because especially what happens on your monday mornings tends to affect the rest of your week so i didn't want to go and just spoil my mood so i just went around doing all that i'm supposed to do before i went to my computer 
and then guys i refreshed my computer and i've never been this happier before guess what all the videos were restored i've never felt this relief i think for a while and after all the stress the back and forth and the exchange of emails messages with youtube the tweet the frustration and all that the videos were back guys i felt so very happy and i was glad that after all these i was able to get my videos back however all the monetization on these videos have been turned off so i literally had to go through video by video to turn the monetizations off i was even fortunate enough that while this while all these funny things were happening it didn't affect my channel as in the monetization wasn't lost i didn't get any strike or any ban or termination basically everything was back and it was intact basically everything was back to normal so i went ahead to change some of the basic things like the branding on my channel the description the tags this person has used all of the tags has been changed with his tags and then i had to go and clear all of that and then change the location they have changed the location to us i had to basically change everything and then the channel was finally back to normal now one thing that was funny to me was on the 12th of april after everything has been sorted out and everything was back to normal i didn't receive an email from the youtube support or the, the support chat which read that an internal investigation has been opened and after reviewing they found out that on the 4th of april my account was hijacked i've been seeing this from 4th of april and youtube wasn't paying attention so what actually happened that all of a sudden another internal investigation was open and it was found that my channel was hijacked and besides what we are talking about has already been solved the issue was already solved so what was the essence of that email that youtube sent well i was glad however that my channel was back and then i was grateful that all this while you guys were so supportive and then you stuck with me so here are some lessons that i learned from all that happened previously now this whole thing happened as a result of a malware that got onto my computer it wasn't any attack from anywhere it was as a result of my own negligence and my mistakes so what i would say is that as youtubers or as content creators as people we should be very mindful of where we get our softwares from and we should be so mindful of getting too many free things because i was all this happened because of a simple software that i could have paid like 300 cities for and if you are not in a position to afford your softwares or buy softwares if you are downloading any software make sure that it is from a legit place like get into pc or like any legit place but don't just be following some of these people posting malware on youtube and then getting your accounts compromised also i would like to say a very huge thank you to wadamaya hellas youtuber rick aqua ethia kimura stella chanelli and all the amazing people that helped in retweeting tagging youtube on twitter when all of this happened i appreciate you guys so much for those of you that called in to check up on me for those of you that tested me sent messages inspirational motivational bright positive messages i really appreciate you all thank you so much for sticking with me throughout all this stress i really really appreciate and how this video has answered many of your questions on why my account was hacked and what actually happened and if you are in this situation i want you to calm down and then try to talk youtube out because you are basically also going to get your channel back yeah so that will be basically it for this video thank you so very much for sticking around to watch this video if this video was helpful a subscribe to the channel will be so very stress relieving i'll catch you guys in the next video it's innocent here and bye